So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the business profile settings in Gola High Level, which is very, very important because uh, those settings are used in multiple areas of Go High Level, like custom fields. Uh, and if you don't have them set up properly, those custom fields may not work properly. So the first thing you do is you go down to settings here at the bottom, once you're at the da dashboard, click on settings, and then you'll see it'll automatically go to business profile. And so business profile is where a lot of the important settings, especially with the new SMS requirements that are happening at the moment. And uh, if you don't have all of this set up properly, it won't be approved properly for you. And it's a big issue at the moment if you're not getting it done. So let's just go through them very quickly. Here is the business logo. And if you put the logo here, then you can use it as a custom field. Obviously the, the, the details, I won't go through this, but this is basically the name that people know your business by, but this might be the actual legal name. Now this is important because this is important for the new SMS uh, setup. Uh, obviously, you need a business email address and a phone number, a website. All of this is very, very important for um, for uh, the custom fields. But this is important here for the new SMS setup. So you need that. You can choose a niche and just so people know, so Go High Level knows what niche you're in. I think that's more for, for Go High Level. Then you can update this information. Don't forget to click the buttons. And then here, again, a lot of legal information here, very important to fill in. And you can leave a voicemail here. So you can record a voicemail, upload it, and that's the voicemail setting for your Go High Level phones. And then over here, it's the legal business address, very important. This gets filled in as well for the new SMS um, requirements. And then an authorized representative, again, that's a legal thing you have to put in for the SMS requirements. Now, when it comes to general, there's a few settings here that I recommend. And so let's go through them now. I, I don't allow duplicate opportunities. I only want one opportunity, otherwise it gets very confusing and you can forget it. I enable merge Facebook contacts by name. Um, I, um, I, I, I want to know what the contact time zone is, so I don't check this to disable it. I want to know, so I uncheck it. Uh, mark emails as invalid due to hard bounds. I enable that, that's very, very important. Uh, and then validate phone numbers when first SMS is sent to new contact. Very important so you don't keep sending phone num um, SMSs to phone numbers that don't work. Um, verify email address when first email is sent to a new contact. Very important because you don't want to um, you don't want to um, keep having emails that bounce. Now that's just come up that I can't do it. That's because there's a setting I have to apply. But uh, in Go High Level, this should be resolved for you. Um, by the person who's running your Go High Level or the company that's running it. And then make email comply by adding an unsubscribe link. Very important that you add that in as well. Okay, and so all of this I, uh, I leave. Uh, when it comes to enable campaigns and triggers, I don't like um, enabling that. That's old functionality that is going to be cease to exist soon. So just leave these disabled. And then you can enable Miss Call Text back here. And you can write in a text that gets sent to someone when a, when a call is not answered on a Go High Level call. And you can type in the phone number there that it gets sent from. So I don't have that enabled at the moment, but I suggest if you're a service-based business um, that you have that enabled.